All right, everyone, it's time for a quick literary update, this time on the subject of ebooks as well as the infamous 10th category that for months I've been sort of dragging my heels on on the books blog. Link in the description for those of you uh, who want to peruse my, uh, my literary editions that I've released. I've got works that I've written there on various subjects, some fiction, some nonfiction, some occult, some political in nature. I know the political works, occult memetics is still the most popular that I myself have written and one of the most popular works now that I've got uh, available at all. Uh, but I am crafting ebooks now for all of the titles. The first like 90 editions on there were already ebooks. Other than a couple that didn't get processed properly, it's like, you know, screw it, not willing to go through that hassle again. But for the last like 20 or 30 works, I've now created ebooks for them. So they are now available in the Kindle store. Now, I don't use ebooks. Uh, uh, an original scan of an old document, yeah, that's fun to read because it looks like an actual book on your screen, especially with the anti glare screen. It's almost like looking at an actual book. It's actually weird how much that changes how everything looks online. I never would have imagined it. Uh, but I prefer physical copies. I've actually bought a few more books, like physical books, in the last week. Uh, a copy of The Lesser Keys, one of the editions that I thought looked worthy of my time. Uh, the Wolf's Crooked Cross, which is like diabolical Gnosticism, and another copy of the Necronomicon, which is the third one I've had to buy. The first one got destroyed. The second one got lost. It's like you can't keep a copy of the Simon Necronomicon around without it trying to disappear on you in some way or form. It's actually a little bit on the creepy side to have to buy it for a third time. I wonder if it's going to be like, I have 666 copies of the Necronomicon later and the world's running out of 1980s editions of it or something. It's going to be great. Um, but yes, ebooks are now available for all of the works for which they can be available. There are a couple of titles, because of the way KDP works, they require if, if the work is similar enough to an existing edition, even if it was independently edited, has its own foreword, has its own cover art and trappings and so forth, they assume that it's the same edition with their automated system. So you actually would have to re-illustrate it or supply running com critical commentary or, or something like that uh, or, or make a to oh, in different language. <laughs> You'd have to translate the document. So for the two or three works on there that wouldn't process, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to go through the hassle of re-illustrating some minor document from the 1700s. It's just not going to happen. It's already available as a paperback. As to whether it's on Kindle, I'm ambivalent because I don't even use Kindle. Originally, my plans didn't even call for releasing Kindle versions of any of my works because I think that PDF, I think that digital copies should be free. But because there's so much apparent demand for them, like it wouldn't believe how many copies are actually being sold. It's at this point roughly as many copies as are selling on paperback. It's like, whoa, I, I can't even believe it. Because of that, it just made sense to release them all. So there are now roughly 20% more ebook editions available. And I will be adding links to those now, for easier navigation on the blog. Right now, you can go to the paperback version on the links, and you can press a button and switch over to the Kindle version through Amazon. It's fairly easy to do. But I'd rather just list the uh, links separately to both editions just for ease of use for people. It just makes more sense. And I will be adding the 10th category for cryptozoology, mythology, and folklore. And then shifting the folk magic category gets deleted and replaced by mysticism. Some of the more philosophical, alchemical, and grimoire works and a few of the academic titles will fall under that new header. And some of the others will fall under the spiritual uh, header for religious texts specifically. Now, and that's sort of the way that it's going to be. It's going to be interesting. And I have obtained a several dozen more uh, documents recently as well as well as some physical copies of works that I'm interested in reading for my own uh, use. Of course, the Necronomicon that keeps disappearing. Uh, I wonder why, since it's not technically a real grimoire at all or anything like that. It's not something hy uh, hyper spooky dooky, uh, so much as it's something is it's just weird. Uh, you wouldn't even believe it. That's about all. Peace out.